Hello and welcome to Vertex 42. Watch this video to see how I create this Gantt chart in Google Sheets. It includes features like a dynamic timeline as well as showing the progress of each task. First off, I'll add the basic information we'll want, including a spot to enter the project start date. The critical information for a Gantt chart is a list of tasks each with a start date, the duration in days, and the end date. We typically group tasks within phases or categories, so I'll add four tasks under phase one. Next, I'll add a start date and the number of days it will take to complete. I'll calculate the end date by taking the start date, adding the days, then subtracting one. I'll have task two start one day after task one ends. Now I'll fill in the rest of the data for us to work with. You can add and subtract dates because they are stored as numbers and just displayed in different formats. I'll copy these formulas down to create a second project phase. I'll make phase two start one day after the final task of phase one. The next step is to create the date range or timeline for the chart area. I'll start with June 1st and drag that six more cells to the right to create a week. I want to display just the days of the month, so I'll use the custom number format D. It's important to realize these cells are storing the full date but only displaying the day of the month. Now I want to display the first letter of the day of the week in the cell below the date. First, I'll use the text function to display the abbreviation of the day of the week. Then I'll use the left function to grab just the first letter of that text. Next, I'll merge these seven cells and display the date of the first day of the week. To display the full date, I'll need to change the number format back to the date default. Now I'll select the columns using control space and then copy them. I'll use a keyboard shortcut to paste just the formatting. Then I'll drag the data to copy it to the right. I want to add a fourth week, so I'll insert seven more columns and copy the formulas one more week to the right. To make the timeline dynamic, I'll link the first cell of the chart area to the project start date. Then I'll use a formula to add one day to each of the next dates and drag that to the right. Now when the project start date changes, the timeline will change too. First I'll select the entire worksheet and change the vertical alignment to center. Next I'll adjust the column widths. If you're looking for a more precise adjustment, you can click on the column dropdown and select resize column. Then you can type in the exact number you want. You can also select multiple columns and right click to get the resize columns option. When formatting, I also like to turn off the grid lines. Now I'll do some general formatting of the first couple rows to make the important information stand out even more. I want to emphasize that the project start date can be modified, so I'll also add a border around it. Next I'll select this area and set the horizontal alignment to center. I like table headers that have a slightly smaller font and are bold with a dark background and a light colored font. Next, I'll make each week's chart labels a bit more interesting. I made the main date left justified in bold. Now I'll decrease the font size to match the table header. I'll add a light background color and a dark gray border. Now I can use the format painter to apply those changes to the other three weeks. To make the Gantt chart easier to read, I'll emphasize the phase rows with the background color and then add horizontal borders for the tasks.
I'll use the Format Painter again to apply those changes to the Phase 2 section. We could add bars by filling in the chart manually, but that's way too time consuming. So instead we'll use conditional formatting to fill in these cells when the dates at the top of these columns are within the start and end dates. First we'll select all of these cells and go to Format, Conditional Formatting. Under Format Cells If, I'll select Custom Formula Is from the drop down menu. Now we're ready to type in our formula. It's important to create the formula based on the upper left cell in the range. We'll use the logical function AND, setting the date in row 4 greater than or equal to the start, comma, and the date less than or equal to the end. Think of this formula as being copied to the rest of the cells in the applied range, so we need to make the rows of the date references fixed by adding a dollar sign in front of the row numbers. We'll also make the columns of the start and end dates fixed by adding dollar signs in front of the column letters. I want the color of the bars to match the design better, so I'll change them to a dark blue. Now we have a basic Gantt chart, but let's continue to add more features. Our timeline currently starts on the same day as the project start, but I want it to always start on Monday. I'll edit this formula to subtract the weekday of the project start. After the comma, I'll type 3, which makes Monday a zero. Now the weeks in the timeline will start on Monday regardless. Next I'm going to add an input that lets you scroll through the chart. Under project start, I'll enter display week. Next to that, I'll enter a 1, and then I'll use the format painter to make it match the project start. I'll fix the 1 being changed to a date by going to format, Number, Automatic. Now I'll edit the first day in the timeline again to add the display week minus 1 times 7. Now when I change the display week, the dates in the timeline will update, letting me scroll through the chart. Next I want to highlight the current day in the timeline, which is actually pretty simple. I'll select the rows in the timeline with the day number and letter, then go to Format, Conditional Formatting, and select Custom Formula Is from the drop-down. The formula will be a comparison of the date at the top of the column to the function today. I'll make the highlight red and the font white and bold. First I'm going to insert three new columns. This first new column is for who the task is assigned to. The next two columns are where we'll show the task progress. I'll change these cells to the percentage format, then I'll enter in some example data. In the next column, we'll create bars that represent these percentages. To do this, we'll use the sparkline function. First, I'll have it reference the cell with the percent. For the chart type option, I'll use bar. Then I'll set the color of the bar to gray. Finally, I'll set the maximum value to 1, so 100% shows a full bar. I'll take that formula and drag it down to the other cells in phase 1. I'll need to fix this error that happens when the reference cell is blank. It's an easy fix. We'll simply use the if error function that returns a blank when the percent cell is empty. I'll copy this updated formula, select the cells I want to apply it to, then go to edit, paste special, paste formula only. I'll test it out in phase 2 to make sure it works correctly. I'm going to speed this next section up a bit, where I update the formatting of the new progress columns we just created. To finish things off, I'd like to see the duration of each phase, as well as group the tasks for easy viewing. I'll first use the min function to grab the earliest start date from phase 1's tasks. Then I'll use the max function to get the latest date. So now that we have a start and end date in the phase row, the bars will appear automatically. Now I'll copy and paste the min and max formulas into phase 2. Grouping rows is a great way to toggle the data you want to see in print. I'll simply select the rows I want to group, then go to Data, Group Rows. I can now see on the left the rows I have grouped. 
and I can show or hide them by clicking on the icon. For phase two, I'll use a keyboard shortcut to group the rows. Now you can easily show or hide the tasks for both viewing as well as printing. I hope that along with this Gantt chart, you've also learned some great new skills in Google Sheets. If you like this video and want to see more, please subscribe to our channel.